From what plant is taxol extracted? Taxol is produced from the bark of the western or Pacific yew, Taxus brevifolia. It has been shown to inhibit the growth of HeLa cells, human cancer cells. And is a promising new treatment for several kinds of cancer. Originally it was a scarce drug, but in 1994 two groups of researchers announced its synthesis. The synthesis is a formidable challenge, and better procedures and modifications remain to be developed. Since taxol is developed now from needles instead of tree bark. The natural source is more available, but the synthetic version will be needed to devise modified. Or designer taxols whose cancer fighting ability may prove more effective. Are all craters part of a volcano? No, not all craters are of volcanic origin. A crater is a nearly circular area of deformed sedimentary rocks, with a central, vent-like depression. Some craters are caused by the collapse of the surface when underground salt or limestone dissolves. The withdrawal of groundwater and the melting of glacial. Ice can also cause the surface to collapse, forming a crater. Craters are also caused by large meteorites, comets, and asteroids that hit Earth. These are called impact craters. A notable impact crater is Meteor Crater near Winslow, Arizona. It is 4,000 feet, 1,219 meters, in diameter, 600 feet, 183 meters. Deep and is estimated to have been formed 30,000 to 50,000 years ago. How is the speed of a CPU measured? Separate from the real-time clock which keeps track of the time of day. The CPU clock sets the tempo for the processor and measures the transmission speed of electronic devices. The clock is used to synchronize data pulses between sender and receiver. A 1 MHz clock manipulates a set number of bits 1 million times per second. In general, the higher the clock speed, the quicker data is processed. However, newer versions of software often require quicker. Computers just to maintain their overall processing speed. The Hertz is named in honor of Heinrich Hertz, 1857-1894, who detected electromagnetic waves in 1883. 1. Hertz is equal to the number of electromagnetic waves or cycles in a signal that is one cycle per second. What is the most primitive group of animals? Sponges, phylum porifera, from the Latin terms porus, meaning poor, and fera, meaning bearing, represent the most primitive animals. These organisms are aggregates of specialized cells without true tissues or organs. 
with little differentiation and integration, and with no body symmetry. A sponge's body is perforated by holes that lead to an inner water chamber. Sponges pump water through those pores and expel it through a large opening at the top of the chamber. While water is passing through the body, nutrients are engulfed. Oxygen is absorbed, and waste is eliminated. Sponges are distinctive in possessing coanocytes, special flagellated cells whose beating drives water. Through the body cavity and that characterize them as suspension feeders, also known as filter feeders. How many nuclear power plants are there worldwide? As of 2008, 440 reactors were operational with 44 more under construction. As of 2008, the United States had 104 reactors in operation, with one under construction. The plants generated 100,683 megawatts of electricity or 19.7% of domestic electricity in 2008. What is nuclear magnetic resonance imaging? Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, sometimes called nuclear magnetic resonance imaging. NMR, is a non-invasive, non-ionizing diagnostic technique. It is useful in detecting small tumors, blocked blood vessels, or damaged vertebral discs. Because it does not involve the use of radiation, it can often be used where X-rays are dangerous. Large magnets beam energy through the body causing hydrogen atoms in the body to resonate. This produces energy in the form of tiny electrical signals. A computer detects these signals, which vary in different parts of the body and according to whether an organ is healthy or not. The variation enables a picture to be produced on a screen and interpreted by a medical specialist. What distinguishes MRI from computerized X-ray scanners is that most X-ray studies cannot distinguish between a living body and a cadaver. While MRI sees the difference between life and death in great detail. More specifically, it can discriminate between healthy and diseased tissues with more sensitivity than conventional radiographic instruments like X rays or CAT scans. CAT, computerized axial tomography. Scanners have been around since 1973 and are actually glorified X-ray machines. They offer three-dimensional viewing but are limited because the object imaged must remain still. The concept of using MRI to detect tumors in patients was proposed by Raymond Domedion. 1936, in a 1972 patent application. The fundamental MRI imaging concept used in all present-day MRI instruments was proposed by Paul Lauterbar. 1929-2007, in an article published in Nature in 1973. Lauterbar and Peter Mansfield, 1933. Were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2003 for their discoveries concerning magnetic resonance imaging.
The main advantages of MRI are that it not only gives superior images of soft tissues, like organs, but can also measure dynamic physiological changes in a non-invasive manner. Without penetrating the body in any way. A disadvantage of MRI is that it cannot be used for every patient. For example, patients with implants, pacemakers, or cerebral aneurysm clips made of metal cannot be examined using MRI because the machine's magnet could potentially move these objects within the body, causing damage. Who proposed the modern theory of the atom? The modern theory of atomic structure was first proposed by the Japanese physicist Hantaro Najaika. 1865-1950, in 1904. In his model, Electrons rotated in rings around a small central nucleus. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford discovered further evidence to prove that the nucleus of the atom is extremely small and dense and is surrounded by a much larger and less dense cloud of electrons. In 1913, the Danish physicist Niels Bohr, 1885-1962, proposed a model that is known as the Bohr atom. It suggested that electrons orbit the nucleus in concentric quantum shells at certain well-specified distances from the nucleus corresponding to the electron's energy levels. These orbits are known as Bohr orbits. Several years later, Erwin Schrödinger, 1887 to 1961 proposed the Schrodinger wave equation which provided a firm theoretical basis for the Bohr orbits Is washing dishes by hand better for the environment than using an automatic dishwasher? Dishwashers often save energy and water compared to hand washing. Depending on the brand, dishwashers typically consume 7.5 to 12 gallons, 28 to 45 liters, of water per normal wash. Hand washing a day's worth of dishes may use up to 15 gallons, 57 liters, of water. One university study found that dishwashers consume about 37% less water than washing by hand. Several steps can be taken for additional energy savings when using a dishwasher. The setting on a home's water heater can be turned down to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. 49 degrees Celsius, if the dishwasher has a booster heater. While some machines feature a no-heat, air-dry setting. Simply opening the door after the final rinse to let the dishes air-dry will save energy. When was the role of bees in pollination discovered? The discovery of the role of bees in pollination was discovered by Joseph Gottlieb Kahlruder, 1733-1806. In 1761, he was the first to realize that plant fertilization occurs with the help of pollen-carrying insects.
How did the electrical unit volt originate? The unit of voltage is the volt, named after Alessandro Volta. 1745-1827, the Italian scientist who built the first modern battery. A battery, operating with a lead rod and vinegar, was also manufactured in ancient Egypt. Voltage measures the force or oomph with which electrical charges are pushed through a material. Some common voltages are 1.5 volts for a flashlight battery, 12 volts for a car battery. 115 volts for ordinary household receptacles, and 230 volts for a heavy-duty household receptacle. How fast do eyelashes grow? Eyelashes are replaced every three months. An individual will grow about 600 complete eyelashes in a lifetime. What is the greenhouse effect? The greenhouse effect is a warming near Earth's surface. That results when Earth's atmosphere traps the sun's heat. The atmosphere acts much like the glass walls and roof of a greenhouse. The effect was described by John Tyndall, 1820-1893, in 1861. It was given the Greenhouse analogy much later in 1896 by the Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius, 1859-1927. The greenhouse effect is what makes the earth habitable. Without the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other gases in the atmosphere, too much heat would escape and the earth would be too cold to sustain life. Carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and other greenhouse gases absorb the infrared radiation. Rising from the earth and hold this heat in the atmosphere instead of reflecting it back into space. In the 20th century, the increased buildup of carbon dioxide. Caused by the burning of fossil fuels, has been a matter of concern. There is some controversy concerning whether the increase noted in the Earth's average temperature is due to the increased amount of carbon dioxide and other gases, or is due to other causes. Volcanic activity, destruction of the rainforests, use of aerosols, and increased agricultural activity may also be contributing factors. How fast does a snail move? Many snails move at a speed of less than 3 inches, 8 centimeters, per minute. This means that if a snail did not stop to rest or eat, it could travel 16 feet, 4.8 meters, per hour. How numerous are roundworms? Roundworms, or nematodes, are members of the phylum nematoda, from the Greek term nematos. 
meaning thread, and are numerous in two respects. 1. Number of known and potential species, and 2. The total number of these organisms in a habitat. Approximately 12,000 species of nematodes have been named. But it has been estimated that if all species were known, the number would be closer to 500. 000 nematodes live in a variety of habitats ranging from the sea to soil. 6 cubic inches, 100 cubic centimeters, of soil may contain several thousand nematodes. A square yard, 0.85 square meter, of woodland or agricultural soil may contain several million of them. Good topsoil may contain billions of nematodes per acre. Who developed the poliomyelitis vaccine for polio? Immunologist Jonasi Sock, 1914-1995, developed the first vaccine, made from a killed virus. Against poliomyelitis and is known as the man who defeated polio. In 1952 he prepared and tested the vaccine, and in 1954 massive field tests were successfully undertaken. Two years later immunologist Albert Sabin, 1906-1993, developed an oral vaccine made from inactivated live viruses of three polio strains. Currently, an inactivated polio vaccine, IPV, is given as an injection at ages two months. Four months, six to eighteen months, and a booster at four to six years. Since fungi lack chlorophyll necessary to produce their own food how do they obtain food? Fungi are saprobes that absorb nutrients from wastes and dead organisms. Instead of taking food inside its body and then digesting it as an animal would, a fungus digests food outside its body by secreting strong hydrolytic enzymes onto the food. In this way, complex organic compounds are broken down into simpler compounds that the fungus can absorb through the cell wall and cell membrane. How does a homing pigeon find its way home? Scientists currently have two hypotheses to explain the homing flight of pigeons. Neither has been proved to the satisfaction of all the experts. The first hypothesis involves an odor map. This theory proposes that young pigeons learn how to return to their original point of departure by smelling different odors that reach their home in the winds from varying directions. They would, for example, learn that a certain odor is carried on winds blowing from the east. If a pigeon were transported eastward, the odor would tell it to fly westward to return home. The second hypothesis proposes that a bird may be able to extract its home's latitude and longitude from Earth's magnetic field. It may be proven in the future that neither theory explains the pigeons. 
navigational abilities or that some synthesis of the two theories is plausible. Among angiosperms what is the most important family? Angiosperms, commonly known as flowering plants, include the grass family. This family is of greater importance than any other family of flowering plants. The edible grains of cultivated grasses, known as cereals, are the basic foods of most civilizations. Wheat, rice, and corn are the most extensively grown of all food crops. Other important cereals are barley, sorghum, oats, millet, and rye. What are Operation Ranch Hand and Agent Orange? Operation Ranch Hand was the tactical military project for the aerial spring of herbicides in South Vietnam during the Vietnam conflict, 1961-1975. In these operations Agent Orange, the collective name for the herbicides 2,4-D and 2,4,5-T, was used for defoliation. The name derives from the color-coded drums in which the herbicides were stored. In all, U.S. troops sprayed approximately 19 million gallons. 72 million liters of herbicides over 4 million acres, 1.6 million hectare. Concerns about the health effects of Agent Orange were initially voiced in 1970. And since then the issue has been complicated by scientific and political debate. In 1993, a 16-member panel of experts reviewed the existing scientific evidence and found strong evidence of a statistical association between herbicides and soft tissue sarcoma. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, and chloracne. On the other hand, they concluded that no connection appeared to exist between exposure to Agent Orange and skin cancer bladder cancer, brain tumors, or stomach cancer. What makes knuckles crack? When a person pulls quickly on his or her finger. A vacuum is created in the joint space between the bones, displacing the fluid normally found in the space. The popping sound occurs when the fluids rush back into the empty gap. When was Java developed? Java was released by Sun Microsystems in 1995. A team of developers headed by James Gosling. 1955, began working on a refinement of C++ that ultimately led to Java. Unlike other computer languages, which are either compiled or interpreted. Java compiles the source code into a format called bytecode. The bytecode is then executed by an interpreter. 
Java was adapted to the emerging World Wide Web and formed the basis of the Netscape Internet Browser. What are the characteristics of alpha, beta, and gamma radiation? Radiation is a term that describes all the ways energy is emitted by the atom as X-rays. Gamma rays, neutrons, or as charged particles. Most atoms, being stable, are non-radioactive. Others are unstable and give off either particles or gamma radiation. Substances bombarded by radioactive particles can become radioactive and yield alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Alpha particles, first identified by Antoine Henri Becquerel, 1852-1908 Have a positive electrical charge and consist of two protons and two neutrons. Because of their great mass, alpha particles can travel only a short distance. Around 2 inches, 5 centimeters, in air, and can be stopped by a sheet of paper. Beta particles identified by Ernest Rutherford, 1871-1937, are extremely high-speed electrons that move at the speed of light. They can travel far in air and can pass through solid matter several millimeters thick. Gamma rays, identified by Marie, 1867-1934, and Pierre Curie, 1859 to 1906 are similar to x-rays but they usually have a shorter wavelength these rays which are bursts of photons or very short wave electromagnetic radiation travel at the speed of light they are much more penetrating than either the alpha or beta particles and can go through 7 inches 18 centimeters of lead How does complementary medicine differ from alternative medicine Complementary medicine is used together with conventional medicine. An example of complementary medicine is using aromatherapy following conventional surgery. Alternative medicine is used in place of conventional medicine. One example of alternative medicine is treating cancer with a special diet instead of surgery. Radiation and slash or chemotherapy integrated or integrative medicine combines treatments from conventional medicine with cam therapies and techniques for which there is evidence of safety and effectiveness since it often occurs during what are fulgurites Fulgurites, from the Latin word fulgur, meaning lightning, are petrified lightning, created when lightning strikes an area of dry sand. The intense heat of the lightning melts the sand surrounding the stroke into a rough, glassy tube forming a fused record of its path. These tubes may be 0.5 to 2 inches. 1.5 to 5 centimeters in diameter and up to 10 feet 3 meters in length 
they are extremely brittle and break easily. The inside walls of the tube are glassy and lustrous while the outside is rough. With sand particles adhering to it. Fulgurites are usually tan or black in color, but translucent white ones also have been found. Thunderstorms, the electrical source may be lightning. Another description refers to this phenomenon as weak static. Electricity formed when an electrified cloud touches a high exposed point. Molecules of gas in the air around this point become ionized and glow. The name originated with sailors who were among the first to witness the display of spear-like or tufted flames on the tops of their ship's masts. Saint Elmo, which is a corruption of Saint Irmo, is the patron saint of sailors, so they named the fire after him. What products does one acre of trees yield when cut and processed? There are approximately 660 trees on one acre of forest, this number of trees can yield approximately 105,000 feet. 32,004 meters, of lumber, more than 30 tons, 30,000 kilograms, of paper, or 16 cords of firewood. What are the major parts of the year? The major parts of the ear are the external ear, middle ear, and inner ear. What is a patent? A patent grants the property rights of an invention to the inventor. Once a patent is issued, it excludes others from making, using, or selling the invention in the United States. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office issues three types of patents. Utility patents are granted to anyone who invents or discovers any new and useful process, machine, manufactured article, compositions of matter, or any new and useful improvement in any of the above. Design patents are granted to anyone who invents a new, original, and ornamental design for an article of manufacture. Plant patents are granted to anyone who has invented or discovered and asexually reproduced any distinct and new variety of plant. How dangerous is Clostridium botulinum? The bacterium Clostridium botulinum can grow in food products and produce a toxin called botulinum. The most toxic substance known. Microbiologists estimate that one gram of this toxin can kill 14 million adults. This bacterium can withstand boiling water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. But is killed in 5 minutes in 248 degrees Fahrenheit 120 degrees Celsius. This tolerance makes Clostridium botulinum a serious concern for people who can vegetables at home.
if home canning is not done properly. This bacterium will grow in the anaerobic conditions of the sealed container and create extremely poisonous food. The endospores of Clostridium botulinum can germinate in poorly prepared canned goods. So individuals should never eat food from a can that appears swollen. As it is a sign that the can has become filled with gas released during germination. Consuming food from a can containing endospores that have undergone. Germination can lead to nerve paralysis, severe vomiting, and even death. What is the largest nerve in the body? The sciatic nerve is the largest in the human body about as thick as a lead pencil 0.78 inch, 1.98 centimeters. It is a broad, flat nerve composed of fibers that run from the spinal cord to the back of each leg. How did lead contribute to the fall of the Roman Empire? Some believe Romans from the period around 150 B. CE may have been victims of lead poisoning. Symptoms of lead poisoning include sterility. General weakness, apathy, mental retardation, and early death. The lead could have been ingested in water taken from lead lined water pipes or from food cooked in their lead lined cooking pots or from wine served in lead lined goblets. Unaware of its dangers, some ancient Romans unwittingly used lead as a sweetening agent or medical treatment for diarrhea. Lead poisoning could have caused infertility in women, leading to a subsequent long-term decline in the birth rate of the Roman upper classes. The effect of this inadvertent toxic food additive on Roman history, however, is only speculative. When was a symbol for the concept of zero first used? Surprisingly, the symbol for zero emerged later than the concept for the other numbers. Although the Babylonians, 600 BCE and earlier, had a symbol for zero. It was merely a placeholder and not used for computational purposes. The ancient Greeks conceived of logic and geometry. Concepts providing the foundation for all mathematics, yet they never had a symbol for zero. The Maya also had a symbol for zero as a placeholder in the 4th century. But they also did not use zero in computations. Hindu mathematicians are usually given credit for developing a symbol for the concept zero. They recognized zero as representing the absence of quantity and developed its use in mathematical calculations. It appears in an inscription at Gwalior dated 870 CE. However, it is found even earlier than that in inscriptions dating from the 7th century in Cambodia, Sumatra, and Banka Island, off the coast of Sumatra. Although there is no documented evidence in printed material for the zero in 
China before 1247, some historians maintain that there was a blank space on the Chinese counting board. Representing zero, as early as the 4th century BCE. Are spiders really dangerous? Most spiders are harmless organisms that, rather than being dangerous to humans, are actually allies in the continuing battle to control insects. Most venom produced by spiders to kill prey is usually harmless to humans. However, there are two spiders in the United States that can produce severe or even fatal bites. They are the black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, and the brown recluse spider, Loxocells reclusa. Black widows are shiny black, with a bright red hourglass on the underside of the abdomen. The venom of the black widow is neurotoxic and affects the nervous system. About 4 out of 1,000 black widow bites have been reported as fatal. Brown recluse spiders have a violin-shaped strip on their back. When were photovoltaic cells developed? A group of researchers at Bell Labs, Calvin Fuller, 1902-1994, Daryl Chapin 1906-1995, and Gerald Pearson, 1905-1987 Developed the first practical silicon solar cell in 1954. The earliest PV cells were used to power U. S space satellites the use of PV cells was then expanded to power small items such as calculators and watches. What is lightning? Lightning is an electrical discharge occurring in the atmosphere accompanied by a vivid flash of light. During a thunderstorm, a positive charge builds in the upper part of a cloud and a negative charge builds in the lower part of the cloud. The difference between the positive and negative charges increases. Generating an electrical field until the electrical charge jumps from one area to another. Lightning may travel from cloud to ground or cloud to air or cloud to cloud or stay within a cloud. The main types of lightning are, streak lightning. A single or multiple zigzagging line from cloud to ground. Forked lightning lightning that forms two branches simultaneously. Sheet lightning, a shapeless flash covering a broad area. Ribbon lightning, streak lightning blown sideways by the wind to make it appear like parallel successive strokes. Beat or chain lightning, a stroke interrupted or broken into evenly spaced segments or beads. Ball lightning, a rare form of lightning in which a persistent and moving luminous white or colored sphere is seen. It can last from a few seconds to several minutes, and it travels at about a walking pace. Spheres have been reported to vanish harmlessly, or to pass into or out of rooms leaving. 
in some cases, signs of their passage, such as a hole in a window pane. Sphere dimensions vary but are most commonly from 4 to 8 inches, 10 to 20 centimeters, in diameter. Heat lightning, lightning seen along the horizon during hot weather and believed to be a reflection of lightning occurring beyond the horizon. What is the most expensive spice in the world? The world's most expensive spice is saffron. The spice was highly sought after by the ancient civilizations of Egypt. Assyria, Phoenicia, Persia, Crete, Greece, and Rome. The term saffron comes from the Arabic word zafarin, meaning yellow. The spice is obtained from the delicate stigmas of an autumn crocus. Crocus sativus, a species native to eastern Mediterranean countries and Asia Minor. Spain is the principal producer of saffron for world markets. Crocus sativus is propagated by corms. The blooming period for the crocus is approximately two weeks. After which the flowers must be picked while they are in full bloom and before any signs of wilting. Once picked, the three-part stigmas are removed from the petals before the petals wilt. This is a time-consuming process that can only be done by hand as the stigmas are very fragile. Then the stigmas are roasted and sold either as whole threads, whole stigmas, or powder. In order to harvest one pound, 0.45 kilogram, of the spice. Between 75,000 and 100,000 flowers must be picked. Approximately 4,000 stigmas yield 1 ounce, 28 grams, of the spice. In 2010 it was reported that wholesale price of low quality saffron was $500 per pound, $1,100 per kilogram. The average retail price in Western countries is $1,000 per pound. $2,200 per kilogram, confirming its place as the world's most costly spice. In what ways are leaves economically important? Leaves are used for food and beverages, dyes and fibers, and medicinal and other industrial uses. Certain plants, such as cabbage, Brassica oleracea, lettuce, Lactica sativa, spinach, Spinacea oleracea, and most herbs including parsley, Petrosilinum crispum, and thyme, Thymus vulgaris, are grown for their leaves. Berbera leaves, Arctostaphylos uva ursi, contain a natural yellow dye. While henna leaves, Lawsonia inermis, contain a natural red dye. The leaves of palm trees are used to make clothing, brooms, and thatched huts in tropical climates. Aloe vera leaves are well known for treating burns and are also used in manufacturing medicated soaps and creams. What are the three types of muscle tissue?
There are three types of muscle tissue in the body. 1. Smooth muscle, 2. Skeletal muscle, and 3. Cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers, is specialized for contraction. It enables body movements, as well as the movement of substances within the body. Why is the sea blue? There is no single cause for the colors of the sea. What is seen depends in part on when and from where the sea is observed. Eminent authority can be found to support almost any explanation. Some explanations include absorption and scattering of light by pure water. Suspended matter in sea water, the atmosphere, and color and brightness variations of the sky. For example, one theory is that when sunlight hits sea water, part of the white light. Composed of different wavelengths of various colors, is absorbed and some of the wavelengths are scattered after colliding with the water molecules. In clear water, red and infrared light are greatly absorbed but blue is least absorbed. So that the blue wavelengths are reflected out of the water. The blue effect requires a minimum depth of 10 feet, 3 meters, of water. When do meteor showers occur? There are a number of groups of meteoroids orbiting the Sun just as Earth is. When Earth's orbit intercepts the path of one of these swarms of meteoroids, some of them enter Earth's atmosphere. When friction with the air causes a meteoroid to burn up, the streak, or shooting star, that is produced is called a meteor. Large numbers of meteors can produce a spectacular shower of light in the night sky. Meteor showers are named for the constellation that occupies the area of the sky from which they originate. Listed below are 10 meteor showers and the dates during the year during which they can be seen. How thick is skin? The thickness of skin varies, depending on where it is found on the body. Skin averages 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in thickness. The thinnest skin is found in the eyelids and is less than 0.002 inches, 0.005 centimeters. Thick while the thickest skin is on the upper back, 0.2 inches or 0.5 centimeters. What is the basic unit of the brain? Neurons are the nerve cells that are the major constituent of the brain. At birth the brain has the maximum number of neurons 20 billion to 200 billion neurons. Thousands are lost daily, never to be replaced and apparently not missed. 
until the cumulative loss builds up in very old age. What is the difference between the degrees doctor of dental surgery? DDS, and Doctor of Medical Dentistry, DMD? The title depends entirely on the school's preference in terminology. The degrees are equivalent. Where do hay boobs occur? Hay boobs, derived from the Arabic word have meaning to blow. Are violent dust storms with strong winds of sand and dust. They are most common in the Sahara region. Of Africa and the deserts of southwestern United States, Australia, and Asia. What often happened to hat makers that caused Lewis Carroll to use the expression mad as a hatter in his Alice in Wonderland? In the 19th century, craftsmen who made hats were known to be excitable and irrational. As well as to tremble with palsy and mix up their words. Such behavior gave rise to familiar expression mad as a hatter. The disorder, called hatter shakes, was caused by chronic mercury poisoning from the solution used to treat the felt. Attacking the central nervous system, the toxin led to the behavioral problems. Can weather be predicted from the stripes on a woolly bear caterpillar? It is an old superstition that the severity of the coming winter can be predicted by the width of the brown bands or stripes around the woolly bear caterpillar in the autumn. If the brown bands are wide, says the superstition, the winter will be mild. But if the brown bands are narrow, a rough winter is foretold. Studies at the American Museum of Natural History in New York failed to show any connection between the weather and the caterpillar's stripes. Where is the world's deepest lake? Lake Baikal, located in southeast Siberia, Russia, is approximately 5,371 feet, 1,638 meters. Deep at its maximum depth, Okhon Crevice, making it the deepest lake in the world. Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania and Zaire is the second deepest lake. With a depth of 4,708 feet, 1,435 meters. What does one acre of trees yield when cut and processed? There are about 660 trees on one acre in a forest. When cut, one acre of trees may yield approximately 105. 
0.000 board feet of lumber or more than 30 tons of paper or 16 cords of firewood. What are some examples of biofield therapies? Qigong, Reiki, and therapeutic touch are examples of biofield therapies. Qigong, a part of traditional Chinese medicine, combines movement, meditation, and controlled breathing. The goal is to improve blood flow and the flow of qi. Reiki, based on the spiritual. Teachings of Mikao Yuzui, 1865-1926, of Japan, is used to promote overall health and well-being. Practitioners of Reiki seek to transmit a universal energy to a person. Either from a distance or by placing their hands on or near the person. The goal is to heal the spirit and thus the body. Therapeutic touch is a therapy in which practitioners pass their hands over another person's body with the intent to use their own perceived healing energy to identify energy imbalances and promote health. What are the most common tapeworm infections in humans? Tapeworms, members of the class Cestida, have long flat bodies in which there is a linear series of sets of reproductive organs. Each set or segment is called a proglottid. How many people living in the United States are centenarians? The number of centenarians in the United States has increased steadily over the decades. The 2000 census recorded more than 50,000 centenarians, up from 37,000 in the 1990 census. The Census Bureau estimated there were 96,548 centenarians in the United States on November 1, 2008. The United Nations projects there will be 2.2 million centenarians. Or one of every 5,000 people, worldwide by 2050. Is there a formula for computing the wind chill? Here is how you calculate the new wind chill index. TWC 535.7410.6215 T, 35.75, V0.16, 10.4275 T, V0.16, TWC is the wind chill in degrees F. V is the wind speed in miles per hour, and T is the temperature in degrees F. What is the environmental impact of disposing electronics in landfills? The EPA believes that the disposal of electronics in properly managed municipal solid waste landfills does not threaten human health and the environment. However, recycling electronics will decrease the demand for 
additional mining of valuable resources and manufacturing new products. Recycling electronics recovers valuable materials, such as copper and engineered plastics. And as a result reduces greenhouse gas emissions, pollution. Saves energy, and saves resources by extracting fewer raw materials from the earth. What is the difference between an ophthalmologist, optometrist, and optician? An ophthalmologist is a physician who specializes in care of the eyes. Ophthalmologists conduct examinations to determine the quality of vision and the need for corrective glasses or contact lenses. They also check for the presence of any disorders, such as glaucoma or cataracts. Ophthalmologists may perform surgery or prescribe glasses, contact lenses, or medication, as necessary. An optometrist is a specialist trained to examine the eyes and to prescribe, supply, and adjust glasses or contact lenses. Because they are not physicians, optometrists may not prescribe drugs or perform surgery. An optometrist refers patients requiring these types of treatment to an ophthalmologist. An optician is a person who fits, supplies, and adjusts glasses or contact lenses. Because their training is limited, opticians may not examine or test eyes or prescribe glasses or drugs. Do viruses contain both DNA and RNA? Viruses have either DNA or RNA as their genomic material, whereas cells including bacteria have both. How deep does the root system penetrate the soil? The depth to which the root system penetrates the soil is dependent on moisture, temperature, the composition of the soil, and specific plant. Most of the roots actively absorbing water and minerals. The feeder roots, are found in the upper 3 feet, 1 meter, of the soil. The feeder roots of many trees are mainly in the upper 6 inches. 15 centimeters, of the soil the part of the soil richest in organic matter. What is the Richter scale? On a machine called a seismograph, the Richter scale measures the magnitude of an earthquake, i.e., the size of the ground waves generated at the earthquake's source. The scale was devised by American geologist Charles W. Richter, 1900 to 1985, in 1935. Every increase of one number means a tenfold increase in magnitude. How many fatalities occur each year in the United States due to tornadoes?
During the past 30 years, 1979 to 2008, an average of 57 people were killed each year by tornadoes. Nearly identical to the average number of people killed by lightning during the same time period. The 10 year average, 1999 to 2008, for deaths due to tornadoes was 63 people per year. What is Geigo? GIGO is not a computer language despite its similarity to the names of computer languages. Instead it is an acronym for the truism that one gets out of something what one puts into it. GIGO stands for the phrase garbage in, garbage out. The phrase means that a program working with imprecise data produces imprecise results. What is Bayesian mimicry? In 1861 Henry Walter Bates, 1825-1892, a British naturalist, proposed that a non-toxic species can evolve, especially in color and color pattern. To look or act like a toxic or unpalatable species in order to avoid being eaten by a predator. The classic example is the viceroy butterfly, which resembles the unpalatable monarch butterfly. In another example, the larva of the hawk moth puffs up its head and thorax when disturbed. Looking like the head of a small poisonous snake, complete with eyes. The mimicry even involves behavior. The larva weaves its head back and forth and hisses like a snake. This is called Bacheon mimicry. Who were the founders of modern bacteriology? German bacteriologist Robert Koch, 1843 to 1910, and French chemist Louis Pasteur are considered the founders of bacteriology. In 1864, Pasteur devised a way to slowly heat foods and beverages to a temperature that was high enough to kill most of the microorganisms that would cause spoilage and disease, but would not ruin or curdle the food. This process is called pasteurization. By demonstrating that tuberculosis was an infectious disease caused by a specific species of bacillus. Cook in 1882 set the groundwork for public health. Measures that would go on to significantly reduce the occurrences of many diseases. His laboratory procedures methodologies for isolating microorganisms, and four postulates for determining agents of disease gave medical investigators valuable insights into the control of bacterial infections. Is anyone looking for extraterrestrial life? A program called SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, began in 1960, when American astronomer Frank Drake 1930, spent three months at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Green Bank, West Virginia, 
searching for radio signals coming from the nearby stars Tau CD and Epsilon Eridani. Although no signals were detected and scientists interested in SETI have often been ridiculed. Support for the idea of seeking out intelligent life in the universe has grown. Project Sentinel, which used a radio dish at Harvard University's Oak Ridge Observatory in Massachusetts, could monitor 128,000 channels at a time. This project was upgraded in 1985 to Meta, Mega Channel Extraterrestrial Assay. Thanks in part to a donation by filmmaker Steven Spielberg. Project Meta is capable of receiving 8.4 million channels. NASA began a 10-year search in 1992 using radio telescopes in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, and Barstow, California. Scientists are searching for radio signals that stand out from the random noises caused by natural objects. Such signals might repeat at regular intervals or contain mathematical sequences. There are millions of radio channels and a lot of sky to be examined. Which structures and organs constitute the cardiovascular system? Technically speaking, the structures of the cardiovascular system are the heart and blood vessels. Blood, a connective tissue, plays a major role in the cardiovascular system. And is usually discussed within the context of the cardiovascular system. How many of the medications used today are derived from plants? Of the more than 250,000 known plant species, less than 1% have been thoroughly tested for medical applications. Yet out of this tiny portion have come 25% of our prescription medicines. The U.S. National Cancer Institute has identified three. 000 plants from which anti-cancer drugs are or can be made. This includes ginseng, Panax quinquefolius, Asian mayapple, Podophyllum hexandrum. Western U. Taxus brevifolia, and rosy periwinkle. 70% of these 3,000 come from rainforests, which also are a source of countless other drugs for diseases and infections. Rainforest plants are rich in so called secondary metabolites, particularly alkaloids which biochemists believe the plants produce to protect them from disease and insect attack. However, with the current rate of rainforest destruction, raw materials for future medicines are certainly being lost. Also, as tribal groups disappear, their knowledge of the properties and uses of these plant species will be lost. How much do plants contribute to the human diet? In the United States and Western Europe approximately 65% of a human being's total caloric intake and 35% of consumed protein are obtained from plants or plant products. 
Soybeans are an example of a plant with high protein content. In developing nations almost 90% of calories and more than 80% of protein in a person's diet are from plants. What is the Beaufort scale? The Beaufort scale was devised in 1805 by a British admiral. Sir Francis Beaufort, 1774-1857, to help mariners in handling ships. It uses a series of numbers from 0 to 17 to indicate wind speeds and applies to both land and sea. How is silk made? Silk fiber is a continuous protein filament produced by a silkworm to form its cocoon. The principal species used in commercial silk making is the mulberry silkworm. The larva of the silk moth Bombyx mori, belonging to the order Lepidoptera. The raw silk fiber has three elements two filaments excreted from both of the silkworms glands and a soluble silk gum called saracen, which cements the filaments together. It is from these filaments that the caterpillar constructs a cocoon around itself. The process of silk making starts with raising silkworms on diets of mulberry leaves for five weeks until they spin their cocoons. Then the cocoons are treated with heat to kill the silkworms inside. Otherwise when the moths emerged, they would break the long silk filaments. After the cocoons are soaked in hot water, the filaments of 5 to 10 cocoons are unwound in the reeling process. And twisted into a single thicker filament, still too fine for weaving. These twisted filaments are twisted again into a thread that can be woven. <laughs>